Even the expensive paper plate aisle is missing. Look at this, more empty shelves at Walmart. My gosh, it's just, this is prevalent. This is, this is what we're up against right now. This is, this is our future right here. Empty shelves, nothing but uh, shortages everywhere you go. And, and look at, here's the, here's the bleach aisle. Look at this. Totally, totally picked over and it's empty. Empty shelves. And right down here, the detergent aisle, this is always empty. I don't know why the shelves here are always empty at Walmart, but look at this. Look at these empty shelves here. Completely empty right here. It's just so picked over. It's ridiculous. In the bleach aisle right there, prices are still high. Six seventy-eight for this look. Look at that. That's probably Clorox. Six seventy-eight. 724 if there's anything left there's the overstock right there but that's it 12 white eggs four dollars and 53 cents that's nuts one avocado a dollar 78 <laughs> it's ridiculous this this is crazy i mean crazy a dollar 78 one avocado this is New Year's Eve. I'm headed into Walmart. I've got a honeydew list to get. <laughs> My wife wants a, a couple items and uh, she's working right now. I gotta head in, so let's go in. Let's check out prices. You know, I did notice that the gas is going up and I saw an article right now. I can see it right here. It's $3.29 for um, unleaded right there. Look at that. If you can just see the price, $3.29 going up. I just just paid 309 at Shell and I thought it was a lot, but now look at today, 329. Gas is going up. It was uh, 299 at Sam's today. I bet that'll change next week because I saw an article about gas. They said uh, with the energy crunch this winter and um, uh, with uh, what uh, the imports that they're, uh, the NATO countries aren't getting any, uh, any fuel from a certain country that uh, energy prices are gonna go way up. So uh, they said expect $7 in some states for regular gas. Regular gas. So anyways, uh, enough of the bad news. Let's head into Walmart. My wife told me I had to get a watermelon to bring in the new year. So it's $4.28 for one of these. Look at this. I was told I had to get one. So guess what? I'm getting one. $4.28. Holy smolies. That's what I have to do. That's what I have to do. That's my honeydew list. Even though there's a honeydew right there. Oh, I hope that's not on the list. <laughs> but let's check out some other things. Avocados, $1.78. Come on, that's ridiculous right here. One avocado for $1.78. That can't be right. I guess it is. Holy smolies. One avocado, $1.78. <laughs> it's ridiculous. This, this is crazy. I mean, crazy. $1.78, one avocado. Now here's a good deal. These tomatoes, these bulk tomatoes like this, for 98 cents, like this. And, and you know what? I'm gonna get some of these. That's a really good deal. That'll go with my hamburger that I got at Sam's today. But that that I can't pass that up, 98 cents. Some things are crazy, but I think this is a deal, and that's what I'm getting. 98 cents, oh my gosh, I'm, I'm impressed. Really impressed right there. But look at look at the food how it's how a lot of everything is missing here. The shortages of everything. Even even the dollar forty-eight coconuts from Florida right here. Oh no, they're two twenty-eight. Look at this coconuts. Two twenty-eight. I just go to shake a palm tree, but look at how many things are missing right here. Plantains. Everything just empty. 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 Everything's empty. $1.88 for a head of lettuce here. Look at this. And there was uh, two of them for uh, $2.98 at, um, at Sam's. Kind of pricey, but look at look at all the items that are missing. I can't even get a cantaloupe. That was on my honeydew list. All the items that are missing here. This is, this is what's uh, happening now. Look at this. All the missing items. This is going to be commonplace now. Is missing items. That's just the way it is. Nothing but food shortages now supply chain uh, shortages too a dollar 88 that's that's quite pricey I hate to have to buy it but what are you gonna do look at the, the ready-made salads they're all missing unless unless they expired but look at all the spinach iceberg all all of it is just missing empty shelves again the 
bananas. Look at 52 cents a pound. I see why people are buying them now. That's a good price right there. But uh, everybody's bought them up. I don't blame them. Oh, look at this all missing seafood right here. Look at this. Look at all the shells. Look at them all. It's all missing right here. I don't know if it's bought up because of New Year's or what, but it, it's just all missing. Nothing there. Oh my gosh. Look at this. This is the potato aisle. Look at the empty bins right here. Potatoes. 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 Empty, empty, empty. All empty bins right here. Look at that. Just sad. And I don't know what these are, but I got a small one and I paid five dollars. Holy cow! And this is the candy aisle. It's always picked over and it's always missing here at Walmart. And this is just, I've seen it for the last year now. Just picked over. It's not like it's Halloween or anything. This is just a supply chain shortage. Look at this. Just, it's just, a, it's a mess here all the time and, and just missing. Look at this. Look at all these candies right here that are just missing. And it's not because of New Year's. It's like this all the time now. I haven't seen a Three Musketeer package like this in a long time. But the minis, but those are really expensive now. And I just won't buy it. But look at this. Look at, look at everything here. It's just a mess and missing. Missing uh, stock and inventory. The ramen noodles are really popular. So people buy these because it's the only affordable thing to eat right now. In, in the can in the can soup aisle look at this just all picked over all the uh, the stock soup here look at that all picked over just sad let's check out the cookie prices these are better than uh, I saw at Publix 458 for these they were six six sixteen at Publix but the Oreo thins here look at these Fa family size look at this this isn't bad four four fifty eight I say it isn't bad compared to public six nineteen a pound six sixteen I mean a, a, a carton I mean look at this four fifty eight it's it's high but not as high as what I've seen before three ninety eight down there my gosh it's still high though look at this four ninety eight must be reduced but four fifty eight four fifty eight for all the Oreos really pricey still but if you want to get them cheaper than the other stores this is it oh i just noticed the chips ahoys 458 but 458 for the bigger package right there right here holy cow that's a little pricey yep that's the party size oh four five ninety eight for the party size holy cow cookies really going up in price well i just don't buy them anymore and look at the soap aisle right here how picked over it is the empty shelves here look at this all picked over completely picked over and, and look at here's the here's the bleach aisle look at this totally totally picked over and it's empty empty shelves and right down here the detergent aisle this is always empty I don't know why the shelves here are always empty at Walmart but look at this look at these empty shelves here completely empty right here it's just so picked over it's ridiculous look at this look at this amazing isn't it and there's the bleach aisle right in front of me and look look at this what a mess this is right here the bag detergents in the bleach aisle right there prices are still high 678 for this look look at that that's probably Clorox 678 724 if there's anything left there's the overstock right there but that's it what a picked over aisle look at the tidy cat look at this the dog food the the cat cat stuff area just just missing everything is missing at walmart here the empty empty shelves here i don't know what's happening why it's like that look at this just going down the cat food aisle here and look at this look how empty the shelves are i mean are we in a foreign country or what and, and look at this I mean just completely empty here I don't I just don't get it I mean this is the United States of America for Pete's sake and just empty shelves everywhere you look just empty empty shelves at Walmart look look at this look at this whole row of empty shelves I know I went by it before but just to take it into perspective look at that just sad isn't it just sad.
Let's go check the eggs. Let's look at the eggs here. Let's check them out. There's the eggs, and look at the empty shelves here by the butter. Look at this, the butter, the bacon, and then the eggs. Egg lands best, 366 here. That's not too bad. I've seen it higher, you know. I've seen it higher, but look at the eggs missing here. Let's see right here, 486 for 18 eggs, 524 for Nellie's, 768. Oh, look at some, these are some handsome eggs here, but the hands, the price isn't handsome at all, 588. 567 for organic, but 12 large eggs, 453. That's ridiculous right there. That's, that's just not right, come on. 12 eggs, 453. 12 white eggs, four dollars and fifty-three cents. That's nuts. They used to be just a dollar, not even a year ago. I remember that. A buck. Now look at them. And here's the orange juice aisle right here. Look at this. Look how picked over everything is. Look at this. Look at how empty the shelves are. More empty shelves at Walmart. Look at this. More empty shelves. Of course the prices are still high. Look at that. 378. 586 338 for the off brand just the regular great value oh there's the handsome eggs again <laughs> it's just completely picked over of the pasta look at this you just think that there was a run on the store or something you know like a hurricane but there wasn't and look at this look at the aisles here look at this just picked over the sugar aisle completely picked over right here just picked over picked out and just everything just missing. Ridiculous. I don't know what's going on anymore. Look at it all. Look at it. There's nothing to look at. Even the expensive paper plate aisle is missing. Look at this. More empty shelves at Walmart. My gosh. It's just, this is prevalent. This is, this is what we're up against right now. This is, this is our future right here. Empty shelves. Nothing but uh, shortages everywhere you go. Everywhere you go. Look at this. Look at that. Just amazing, isn't it? Well, I hope everybody enjoyed the uh, shopping experience at Walmart. Tons of empty shelves. A ton. I can't believe it. It's 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 almost like a hurricane went through and everybody ripped that uh, cleaned the shelves off. But anyways, uh, give me a thumbs up for like. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Until next time, this is Scott with The Real Economy. We'll see you.